Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. In this lesson, you'll learn how to create and modify shapes and building blocks. Now, you'll also learn how to align, group, and arrange objects of all types. Now, let's first look at working with shape. To insert a shape, select the Insert tab, then click on the Shapes drop-down arrow, then from here, choose the shape you want to work with. Then come and draw it out on your page. And that's how you insert a shape. To resize the shape, just select the shape, then click and drag one of the sizing handles to resize it. Like so. Um, if you want to rotate the shape, just click, then there's this. If you come over here, your cursor will change into something like this, and then you can rotate your shape at any angle that you want so what i'm doing right now is i'm rotating my shape but i'll take back to the original size and that's how you resize the shape to move a shape just click and drag it to the desired place to move it now let's look at modifying shapes now if, if you want to change to a different shape so i have a rectangle over here but I want to change to a different shape. What you're going to do is select the shape, then click the format tab. Then from here, uh, come to the insert shapes group, click the shape change shapes command. Now choose the new shape that you want to work with. So I'll select, let's say this one, and your shape will be changed to that new shape. As you can see, now I don't have a rectangle, I have a whole new different shape. If you want to change a shape style, select the shape that you want to change, then come to the shape styles group under the format tab, click the more drop down arrow, and then choose a different shape style. So I'll select this one, and the new shape style will be applied to your shape. To change the shape fill color, again select the shape, then under the format tab, click on the shape fill command. Then come and select the new color that you want to work with. So I'll select this one. And the color of your shape will be changed. Again, if you want to change the shape outline, select the shape. Then under the format tab, come and select the shape outline command. Then you can change the color of the shape outline. So I'll go for a dark blue. And then I'll change, I'll add to its weight. So you can come here. And that's how you change the outline of your shape. If you want, you can also change the shape uh, effects. You can add shape effects to your shape. So you'll come to the shape styles group. Now under the format tab, that is, then locate the shape effects command. Click this, then you can choose whether you want to add a shadow. So I'll select this one. Um, you can choose any uh, if you want to add a glow. If you want to have a bevel effect, you can do whatever you want on your shape. Now let's look at working with building blocks. Now building blocks are another type of object in Publisher. They usually contain some combination of text, shapes and images and they're meant to enhance the appearance of your publication. Now, Once you insert a building block, you can modify it to suit your need. Now let's look at the types of building blocks we have so what we'll do is that we'll come to the insert tab then over here we have the building blocks we have page parts calendars borders and accent and advertisements so i'll click on the page parts drop down arrow then select one of this and it will be added to your page again calendars select one then it will be added then you can resize it if you want Make it smaller. I'll just undo that. So I just want to move it over here. We can do the same with advertisements. Uh, I'll select this one and it will be added to my 
page so i'll just come and drag it down over here you can resize it if you want so these are the building blocks that we have now let's look at arranging objects now first we'll look at aligning objects to align two or more objects you can select them so i'll just select this one then hold down the shift key and select the others Then under the format tab, I'll come and find the align command over here. Then choose one of these alignment options. Now remember, I've only selected this tree, so it's going to affect only this tree. So you can select align left, align center, or align right, and so on. So that's how you align objects. Then looks at, let's look at grouping objects. At times you may want to group multiple objects into one object so they'll stay together if they're moved. Now to group object, select the objects you wish to group. So I'll select this one. Hold down the shift key. Select the other one and this one. Now I want to group them. So I'll come to the format tab again, then select the group command. And those objects will be grouped. So if I move them, I'll move them together as a group. If I resize them, I'll resize them as a group. Whatever I do to one will affect all the others. And if you want to ungroup, you just come back to the format tab again under the drawing tools, then select ungroup. And they will be ungrouped as you can see now they're separate items just need to move it up like so so that's how you group and ungroup objects in publisher